The five factor model of personality or the big five personality traits is a fascinating exploration of essential qualities that define who we are as individuals. The model suggests that these five traits determine the major aspects of our personality, including our behavior, thoughts, and emotions. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Today's topic is the five factor model of personality. So let's get into it. The five factors are extroversion, agreeableness, conscientiousness, neuroticism, and openness to experience. Let's dive deeper into each of these factors. Number one, extroversion. Individuals high in extroversion tend to be sociable, outgoing, and energized by social interactions. They thrive on being around people and enjoy talking and expressing themselves. Extroverts are often seen as risk takers and thrill seekers. They are the life of the party and the center of attention. In contrast, introverts tend to prefer quiet time alone to recharge their batteries. Number two, agreeableness. Agreeableness refers to the tendency to be compassionate, cooperative, and empathetic. Agreeable individuals are highly attuned to the feelings and needs of others and often seek to maintain positive relationships. They often put others before themselves, even at their own expense. In contrast, people who are low in agreeableness tend to be competitive, confrontational, and argumentative. Number three, conscientiousness. Conscientiousness refers to the tendency to be orderly, responsible, and dependable. Highly conscientious individuals are typically reliable and organized with a strong work ethic and a diligent approach to tasks. They prioritize planning and preparation to achieve success and often exhibit a high degree of self-discipline. In contrast, those who are low in conscientiousness may seem to be disorganized, careless, and impulsive. Number four, neuroticism. Neuroticism reflects an individual's emotional stability. It is often characterized as anxiety, sadness, or worry. Individuals high in neuroticism may experience difficulty regulating their emotions and may be more prone to depression and anxiety disorders. On the other hand, individuals who are low in neuroticism are often more emotionally stable, able to handle stress, and setbacks with ease. Number five, openness to experience. Openness to experience refers to an individual's curiosity, imagination, and willingness to try new things. Highly open individuals may be seen as unconventional, creative, and innovative. They are often drawn to new experiences and may seek out adventure in both their personal and professional lives. In contrast, those who are low in openness may be more traditional, resistant to change, and uncomfortable with uncertainty. The five-factor model of personality offers a comprehensive framework for understanding the basic traits that make us unique individuals. Whether you aspire to be more extroverted, agreeable, conscientious, emotionally stable, or open to new experiences, understanding these traits can help you better understand yourself and those around you. So next time someone asks you, what's your personality type? you can respond with confidence and tell them about the five-factor model of personality. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for quality mental health resources, please check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.